So I'm usually not one that gets into crazy viral food trends, but once in a while, one comes along, sort of intrigues me. So here we go. First things first. All right, so I'm making this viral sandwich my way with ingredients I use a lot here on this channel. And I think this sandwich would make its way onto the menu at Mother Hubbard's Sandwich Cupboard. So before we throw everything on a board and get messy and chopping away, we have to prepare just a couple ingredients beforehand. Grab the best olives in town, Castel Vetrano olives. Now with this whole recipe, I'm going to say just to eyeball it, everything is to taste, so as much or as little as you like. And my daughter heard that jar open because she is here and she wants olives. She knows what's good, but I'm telling her I need these olives for this sandwich and can't give her too many. And I don't think she's a fan of that. Remove the pits with a mallet or use a knife to get the flesh away from the pit. And look who is back for more. The next thing we have to do is crisp up some pancetta. This will give some great texture to the sandwich with also imparting great flavor. Cut the pancetta into small cubes and then in a dry pan on medium heat, render the fat and crisp up the pancetta. Once the fat has rendered and the pancetta is nice and crispy, remove to a plate lined with paper towel to soak up any excess fat. And now it's time to throw everything on a board. I also needed a bigger board for this. <laughs> Start with some romaine lettuce and then some radicchio for a nice bitter contrast of flavor. Then have some cherry tomatoes. If you leave them whole, uh, nothing's wrong with that, but some might go flying once you start chopping. And these are gonna add some nice sweetness. Then add some red onion, the Castel Vetrano olives. Then grab some pepperoncini peppers. I love these little bombs of vinegary flavor. Next up is my favorite and my little secret, bomba sauce. If you're new here and don't know about bomba, I will leave a link in the description below with a recipe explaining all about it. This stuff is the best. It's my number one, my favorite, and I use it all the time. Now for the cheese, we are going with a mild provolone. And then for a little bit of saltiness and funkiness, we're gonna go with some Asiago cheese. And of course, finish with a generous grating of Reggie, Parmigiano Reggiano. Now for the meat. First up is prosciutto cotto. Second is mild Genoa salami. Third is calabrese hot soprasata. And fourth, my all time fave, my number one, my love, mortadella. Now we're gonna chop up a bit before adding the rest of the ingredients. So chop, 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 and chop some more. Make a mess and chop and chop and chop. And keep chopping until you get the consistency you want. You still want some texture, so don't go crazy and almost form a paste. Uh, you just want small pieces of everything. Now we can season with salt and freshly cracked pepper, add some dried oregano, a drizzle of extra virgin olive oil, a drizzle of red wine vinegar, and then the mayo. Now for my hardcore Italians, you can skip this step, but I'm going all the way. I'm adding that mayo. I love my mayo. Add that crispy pancetta, and then chop a little more, mix it all up, give a taste, and adjust any seasonings. For the bread, your choice, whatever you want. And if you want to toast it, be my guest. If you're using a long loaf like me, slice three quarters of the way, leaving it still attached and open to help hold the mixture in. You can even hollow out the bread as well if you like. Fill that loaf up with as much mixture as you want and bring it to the table. So I think this is one trend that I can get behind. It's delicious. Every bite is filled with every ingredient. It's just perfect. Uh, the only thing is would be like a texture thing. I don't know if I'd make all my sandwiches like this moving forward, but something like this is perfect every once in a while. You know, I still like a nice fresh mozzarella, mortadella and pesto sandwich uh, not being chopped up. Um, so yeah. <laughs> This is great and i definitely do it again. So I hope you give this one a go. As always, the full recipe is in the link in the description below. Please like and comment. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And until next time, ciao.